If there's one thing I know about high school students is that they like to take the bus and that they don't like to wait. And that they also don't really like to take the bus, but they take it anyways. So I'm here today to demo a little project I've been working on. It's called the Bu Garfield Bus Viewer. And it is an implementation of the One Bus Away API that allows you to have a real-time display that could be put in the front of a high school or somewhere like that. And you can just watch and see when the buses around you are arriving. So when you run Garfield Bus Viewer, um, it pops up this Java applet here. And the first thing you're going to see in here is just the background image. Uh, that is fully customizable. You can put in any image you want so that you can use this for any location. It doesn't even have to be a school. Um, then you see that we have these stop boxes here. And each one of these corresponds to a different stop in this area. And they show, obviously, the stop name, direction, and ID number if you want to look it up on some other one bus away thing or something like that. Each of these boxes shows all the buses that are arriving uh, in the last five minutes or in the next 35 minutes. And this actually shows the predicted times based on their location right now. It's not just the schedule data from Metro. These head sign destination names are dynamically shortened. Um, it searches through and finds a bunch of common phrases and replaces it with a shorter thing because the data that comes for t uh, the data for these comes from Metro, and it's really inconsistent. A lot of them are long, some of them are short, and so this shortens them down so that they'll fit inside these boxes. And then over here on the right side of the box is what this is all about. These are the predicted arrival times of each bus, and they're color-coded, and the colors mean different things. These green numbers mean that the bus is right on time. The blue numbers mean that it's any number of minutes late, uh, sometimes you'll see a red number, which means it's early, and that doesn't happen. The green doesn't happen enough, and certainly the red doesn't happen very much. And then sometimes over here in the predicted times, you'll see a black number, and that means that one bus away doesn't have any scheduled or doesn't have any predicted information for that bus, and so that's just showing when it's scheduled to arrive. Like I said, this is uh, easily customizable for any location, and so that is, comes into play with the way it chooses which stops to show. Uh, as you can see over here, this here is the stops.txt file, and this specifies which stops get shown where on that screen. And so this is as simple as this is the stop ID, the title of the stop, and that just determines what gets displayed on the screen what buses you care about that stop there and this so it'll show each of those buses this is you put in the direction that only affects what's displayed on the screen so you could put any string there if you really wanted to and then these two are the coordinates at which it's drawn and then if you're going to be editing one of these for yourself be sure that you include a next line after each one of these boxes or otherwise it won't work right so that is the Garfield bus viewer it's on Google Code at code.google.com slash p slash Garfield dash bus dash viewer. Um, and it's available for download there, and you can tinker around with it, um, do whatever you want, set it up for any place that you want it to be. Uh, thanks for watching.